Hi there. I'd like to talk about this great tool that I've discovered called Edpuzzle. Um, what it can do is it's going to formatively assess inside any video you find on the internet. Uh, I had this problem when I was flipping the classroom that I didn't know if students watched the video, I didn't know if the students understood um, videos that I assigned for homework. Um, when they got to class I assumed that they all understood, um, but um, there was no way of me knowing. Uh, and now Edpuzzle has been able for me to get over that and, and find ways to actually assess them. So let's take a look in Edpuzzle and let's take a look at this one I just made. Um, Edpuzzle for student learning. What I'm going to do is I took this YouTube video and I put it inside Edpuzzle and along the video I asked questions and I even put in my own audio comments. So let's take a look at this. Hey, Edpuzzle is a great tool that you can leverage for student learning when you have videos. You oh, it's asking me a question now. What tool is this called? Wait, I didn't really listen that well. Um, I guess maybe I should rewatch. Hey, Edpuzzle is a great tool that you can leverage for student learning when you have videos. Oh, okay, it was called Edpuzzle, okay. I can say submit, okay, so my teacher knows, oh, I got the right answer, excellent. All right, you can ask questions going. in a video, you can leave your comments in a video, and you can even have students write their own comments in a video. Okay, write a short response to the tool which you use this for. Oh, I can write this and my teacher can read this later. Um, I would use this to flip the classroom. Okay. Submit. Cool. Let's continue. You can cut short a YouTube video, and you can use any video on YouTube, one that you make, or someone, or one that someone else made. Oh, okay. You have to make your own videos. Oh, I, it looks like he made his own videos here, so I'm just going to say true. It looks like you have to make your own videos. Press submit. Oh, I got it wrong. Wait a minute, let me rewatch that. Cut short a YouTube video, and you can use any video on YouTube, one that you make, or someone, or one that someone else made. Oh, I, it can be someone else made. Okay, well, I've already answered it wrong, so my teacher will know that I um, answered that wrong, but that's okay. It's a great tool to use, and I highly recommend it. I also like that I can record my own voice to add voice comments, so I can add in some sideline information uh, to give my students uh, the extra edge. Okay. And there's the end of that video. So that's how it works. And actually, all of the answers to these questions and comments, they went to the teacher, so the teacher gets to see it. Okay, so I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to show you um, how to search for something that it's not just YouTube. It's also Khan Academy, National Geographic, all these different ones. So let's check out Khan Academy, and I can type in um, um, addition and see what comes up on Khan Academy. Okay, there's all these videos that I can put in and I can see if they watched it and formatively assess them. National Geographic, let's take a look at um, Lions in Africa. And you can find a video, and let's just choose this one so you can see what it looks like. We use this video, and right away I can start playing. If someone asks oh, you to think of a menu. I'm gonna start a question right away. I press the question button up here. I press this here, put a question in. I can decide if it's open response, multiple choice, or just a comment. And I gotta tell you what's fantastic is now you can add your own picture to the question. So if you have a multiple choice question from a textbook, you could upload that multiple choice question um, and put it right in there. And I think that's just fantastic. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna say I'm done, and uh, I'm gonna save and exit this. Um, and just show you, I'm going to say no thanks, that when I go into um, one of my content or my classes, uh, let's take a look at um, one that I assigned my class the other day. Um, it was in my AP Calculus class. And I can look at the progress and I can actually see, if I go to a student, I can see that he actually only watched to 15 minutes and he watched it each one time. And I can find out his answers for the multiple choice questions. Let's go to the next kid. Okay, this kid didn't watch the video at all. All right, Nut Noreen, well, she only watched um, up to four minutes. Okay, okay, she got one question wrong and two questions right. These were comment questions. Um, okay, this person only watched five minutes. So you're really seeing how much they watched. And this person, they got the first question wrong. Um, they got all the rest of the questions. And at one point, he got to watch it twice. So you can see what parts did most of the students want to watch again because they didn't understand well.
Well, thanks for having a look here and know that Edpuzzle is 100% free for teachers and uh, hopefully you can use it to leverage student learning in your classroom. Okay, thanks for watching.